Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize your code and make it run even faster. And to do this, I'm going to explain the steps in this problem on lead code. So the problem is called longest consecutive sequence. And in this problem, we are giving an unsorted array of integers called nums, and we have to return the longest consecutive element sequence. So let's see the example here. This is the elements inside our array. We have one, two, three, four. So there is four elements in sequence, then we have to return the number four. I'm going to start solving the problem and I'm going to use a brute force. And after I finish, I'm going to show you how to optimize the code and make it run even faster. Let's start by making our uh, longest strike and max strike is equal to zero at the beginning. Then we're going to create a loop that run as ma uh, through the entire array. Num. Uh, then we have to create our current number and current number is equal to the number and the end the current strike at the beginning is going to be equal to one. After that, we have to check if the number exists in our array. And we can do that by making another function that's called private. It's going to turn a boolean. Call it contains num. It's going to take an integer array as well as an integer called num. In this function, we're going to do a for loop. And i is equal to zero, i is less than the array dot line, i plus plus. Then we have to check if the element exists in our array. Let's say array of i equal to null. If it does, return true. Otherwise, return false. So basically our function takes an inti uh, array of integers and a number and check if there are, if the number exists in the array. If it does, it's going to return true, otherwise it's going to return false. Now we can call this function right here. Let's say while contains num. Let's give it our array nums and the current number plus one to check if the, there is a number greater than it. And then, if it does, we're going to increase the current num, increment it, as well as the current strike. After we finish our loop, we're going to check uh, if the current strike is greater than the max strike. So max strike equal math.max current strike and max strike finally we're going to return our answer which is the max strike now let's run the code and check if there is no problems okay it's okay it's running perfectly now we uh, let's run through the time complexity uh, right here the first loop run through the entire elements in our array which is o of n and right here the function uh, run through the entire array elements in the array again which is o of n and also right here we have a while loop it's gonna run as long as there's uh, there are elements that's larger than the current number by one which could be same as the length of the original array so it's also o of n linear so the whole time complexity is going to be a uh, big o n to the power three you can say by o big o of n to the power three <clears throat> now to optimize the solution uh, when we are uh, dealing with an integer array we always need to consider uh, sorting the array first and then uh, solving the problem. So if we sort the array right here in this problem, 
we need another for loop that run only once through the array and just check uh, if there are elements larger than uh, our current number so let's say for example we have this uh, list and this list is answer is nine so if we sort the array it's gonna be zero one two three four five six until the la largest number and then we just have to check if the element the if the previous element is uh, less than our current element by one we just gonna increase the current number and as well as the current strike we so we need only one loop which is o of n and since we are uh, sorting the uh, array the original array uh, we need uh, it's also gonna take a log n so if we sort the array it's gonna be n log n it's faster but uh, there is a way that we could make it run even faster by optimizing <coughs> this same solution sorry guys <coughs> so uh, first of all every time we are checking for a certain element inside an array we we can do that by saving all the elements in a set just to check uh, if the number exists or not that makes it a constant uh, time so we can get rid of this function and create our set right here let's say set of integers let's name it set equal to new hash set and then we're gonna add all the elements by making a for loop and num nums set dot add num uh, now we created our set and added all the elements in our array inside the set now right here we don't need this function we can just say set dot contains current number plus one now we uh, we remove the loop right here and make it a constant time it's o of one and also we need to check uh, every time when we are uh, when we have uh, an array, uh, array of integers we can check uh, if we can ignore some elements and don't uh, include it in our uh, solution in our uh, function so in this uh, example particularly uh, if we add a condition right here to check if the number has another and if there if the number has a less number inside this array if there is a less number uh, by one in the array we can just ignore the element and don't do the calculation for it let's say for example uh, if we are in the in the index one right here in the element three we can check if there is two in the array we don't need to make the calculations for this element because if we make it for the two it's going to be uh, give us uh, a larger uh, a strike so if we add this condition right here let's say if set dot contains num minus one Le less element if uh, we're gonna run the function only if there is no element less than the current number we're gonna move our code right here inside our condition and basically right here we're saying uh, don't run this code if there is an element less than our current element by one so it's not gonna run for all these elements it's only gonna run for this one and uh, for this zero and this zero only so it's uh we're gonna remove the linear time here it's gonna be also a loop of uh, constant time uh, as big of one so after we remove this loop and this one we have this one only and the to uh, the overall time uh, complexity is gonna be linear which is o of n so our solution is much faster and let's run the solution to check if there is no problems as you can see it's accepted and that's it for this problem 
uh, I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. If you need other solutions and lead code problems, you can check my repository. It has a lot of solutions on lead code problems. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And thanks, you guys. Catch me on the next one.